all-knowing and all-powerful, starting with the elderly wolf uncle chapter 6. Bruce was also a little surprised to see that the punch missed, but soon took advantage of the victory to pursue Chen Tian and launched a more violent attack. Combat detected, drop rewards, top fighting skills, Batman. Top fighting skills. After that voice sounded in Chen Tian's mind, memories of fighting skills flooded into his mind, and he suddenly mastered more than a hundred fighting techniques. To be precise, it's 127 fighting arts. I have to say, Bruce. Wayne is one of the most powerful human martial arts masters on the planet when it comes to martial arts. After he mastered top fighting skills in an instant, he immediately saw through the blues in front of him. Wayne's path predicted the other party's next move, and leaned slightly to the side. Bang! Bruce. Wayne's punch hit the wall directly behind him, and the wall tiles were bombarded and suddenly cracked into endless cracks. Well, it looks like you're also proficient in martial arts. He could see at a glance that the teenager had also practiced. Gotham is full of talent, isn't it? Chen Tian smiled calmly. What followed him was an even more violent punch, and Bruce on the opposite side seemed to see that he also had a foundation, so he didn't care to let go of his hands and feet. And his fists smashed towards him like a storm. Bang bang bang. Every stroke bursts out with extreme strength, coupled with Bruce's training since childhood, almost every stroke is to the point, in the face of such a terrifying attack. Even senior martial arts experts will not be able to parry. Obviously, he wanted to knock Chen Tian down today. It's just that. Bruce completely underestimated Chen Tian, and now every time he made a move was expected by the yellow-skinned boy, he was able to accurately dodge it every time, and he was at ease. With dozens of punches in a row, Rao couldn't touch Chen Tian. Seeing this, his face gradually became solemn, and the boy in front of him, who seemed to be six or seven years younger than him, actually had such powerful fighting skills. No matter what kind of moves he used, the other party could easily defuse it. Enough playing, it's time to end. Chen Tian was naturally able to deal with it easily, after all, in terms of martial arts, he could be said to have completely integrated Bruce's ideas and skills. So, in the next second, when Bruce punched again, he immediately seized the opportunity to punch Batman in the abdomen. Gravity fell, a punch. Bang! The young Batman's face suddenly turned pale, and his body couldn't control it and fell back to the ground. Although he was wearing a protective suit, the opponent's strength was terrifying, and his fist was like a bullet that made him dizzy for a while. This is the vigilante in Gotham at night, it seems that you are not very good. Chen Tian squatted in Bruce. Wayne sighed, shaking his head as if looking at a loser, continued, if I were a criminal, you would be dead by now. Quote. You don't understand, Gotham City's way of survival. A hum, a hum, Bruce. Wayne was a little embarrassed, and the pain in his abdomen made him cough and unable to say a word. I don't have time to waste with you, so I'll end today. After Chen Tian saw Batman, he already knew roughly the current development of the universe in his heart, which was roughly in the early stage. Bruce. Wayne is just starting out as Batman. And Clark. Kent who should not have become Superman yet, is probably still in college. That's fine, if all the heroes have grown, it is not good for him to collect the abilities of these people. However, he does not plan to go to the metropolis to find Clark now, and the two worlds of Marvel and DC are at the same time for him, which means that it may be almost dawn on Marvel's side now. And the plot of Wolverine 3 will begin soon. Chen Tian had to go back and find an opportunity to pick up Professor X's psychic ability, and it would be easier to navigate the two worlds with that ability. Moreover, he didn't want Uncle Wolf to die embarrassingly like in the movie. Chapter 08. Back to the Marvel Universe. I'll meet Wolverine first. Time to go back. After Chen Tian possessed the dimensional teleportation ability, he found that he could sense the coordinates of the world with his heart. And he could only transmit at any time by remembering the coordinate information. He plans to return to the original Marvel Universe first, he can come back at any time after having coordinates, anyway, no one will care at present. A weak person who can use dimensional teleportation. His strength is not enough to pose a threat to the universe at all, and naturally it will not attract the attention of high-dimensional existences. However, if it were not for the two universes of Marvel and DC, it might be happening at the same time. He probably won't go back so early. After all, there is a very likely Clark here, and perhaps Clark at this stage does not seem to be as strong as in the future. But Clark is full of treasures, and if he can get one of the other party's superpowers, or even all of them, he may become an all-powerful universe in the future. Chen Tian is not in a hurry, he has time. After dealing with Marvel's affairs, it's never too late to come to DC. Thinking about it, he was just about to open the dimensional portal. At this time, the back to his Bruce. Wayne stumbled to his feet, the rich man's head still a little dizzy until now. He hasn't recovered from what happened just now, after all, he has been well educated since he was a child, how could he have thought that he would be taught a lesson by a teenager in cheap clothes? Tonight's events will undoubtedly become the shame of Bruce's vigilante career. And the future king of Gotham was actually taught by a guy with a foreign accent that he didn't understand Gotham's way of survival. For the rulers of the Wayne family, it is definitely a great shame. Damn it, boy, don't let me catch you again. Bruce. Wayne's voice was low and hoarse, and his eyes were full of anger when he turned his head, but he found that there was nothing behind him, only footprints on the black mud on the ground. If it weren't for the pain in his body, he even suspected that the man was fantasizing. Damn it. Actually gone. Bruce's face became even more gloomy when he saw this. He only used this trick on Detective Gordon yesterday, but he was tricked by a hairy boy tonight. This made the young Bruce determined to find out the guy just now. Dot dot dot. Meanwhile, there is a certain universe in the Marvel Universe. 
In Santa Fe, New Mexico, the sun rises in the boundless desert, the residual clouds are slightly red, and the earth is gradually illuminated by the sun. A gas station convenience store on the side of the desert road. In the staff dormitory room of the convenience store, the space suddenly crumpled and shattered, and then tore out the portal, and then a figure appeared in the room out of thin air. Sure enough, both worlds are going on at the same time. Chen Tian walked out of the portal and immediately looked at the clock on the bedside table, and the time in the Marvel Universe also passed more than four hours. Coincides with the time he spent in Gotham. It seems that, as he thought, both worlds are going on at the same time. After confirming this, he fell into bed and planned to sleep for a few hours, the convenience store did not open until 10 o'clock in the morning, he still had time to sleep. Although he had a self-healing factor and improved physical functions, but it did not mean that he did not need to rest. What's more, he also went to Gotham for a circle, and his body was already tired after tossing and turning for a night. In order to have the energy to cope with the impending crisis, he must maintain sufficient physical strength. So not long after lying in bed, I fell asleep in a daze. I don't know how long I went. Chen Tian in the dormitory room was woken up, and in his sleep he heard the middle-aged store manager knocking hard outside the door, and seemed to be talking to some people. Chen, open the door, there is a gentleman who has something to find you. The store manager knocked on the door, followed by several people. Click. The old iron door in the dormitory opened, and when Chen Tian heard someone looking for him, he immediately thought of the few old mo he dealt with yesterday, most likely related to them. In addition, since he came to Santa Fe, he has always been very conservative. However, when he saw the comer, an imperceptible surprise flashed under his eyes, but it was fleeting and unnoticed. Standing opposite was a white man with short blonde hair, his outstretched hand was actually mechanical, with a hypocritical smile on his face, and a sense of sophistication between his eyebrows. Hello, I'm Donald Pierce. Someone claimed last night that gunshots were heard in this direction, and someone recognized a familiar figure seen nearby last night, who may be a mutant. Donald Pierce smiled. I heard gunshots last night, but I didn't go out to check, you understand that there are a lot of old ink in this place at night, they are hungry. And they will definitely attack the convenience store. I don't dare leave the convenience store. Chen Tian looked sincere on the surface, but he was a little surprised in his heart. Unexpectedly, the body was disposed of last night, and it was still by Donald. Pierce gave discovery, but it also seems normal to think about it. This guy is one of the villains who appears in Wolverine 3, he is the head of the security department of a certain company. And he is also a brilliant engineer who specializes in building robots to deal with mutants.